Hey guys, me and Mezzo, and welcome back to some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on part 13. We're halfway through the final mission. I did stop it because I one, I'm getting pissed off and dying. And two, it's just taking the piss, so we're gonna resume it and carry on after I've just died, which is pissing me off. I'm dying every fucking time now, guys. Yeah, let's do one. That's dog shit, and nearly killed me from just hitting me. Bollocks to that. Oh my god, that nearly killed me, that was dog shit. Furnace with being guys, we're not gonna die. Whilst we're going crazy. Yeah, this is stupidly hard. Hey, I was supposed to get through. Folk. I was supposed to get through here. There we go. Our character's getting really angry. I don't know if we die, we might stop. He's shouting, but nothing's responding. Come on. Oh, it's made stuff out. Away for us. Coalescence. We're going through a teleporter now. Come on, Taylor. You're slacking. It's supposed to be the best of us. Oh wow. 
Right. And yeah. Oh my god, that would be one. God, spawn right next to me and kill me then, you knobhead. That's bullshit. So basically what Taylor tries to say is it's fucking useless. No. Taylor, snap us out of it quickly. I'm not going through all this. Imagine a frozen frozen forest. Alright, come on. We can't we can't let him beat us guys. That's a pain in the ass. You kill him and then he's spawn. Did we do it this time? Oh yeah, we're now done guys. We're now done the second one. Good. Oh, I hate these things. I hate ramps. A pain in the ass. left. That's good.
Yeah, but what is the frozen forest? That's just bullshit. Right, so this is Singapore now. So that was Egypt, that was wherever. Now we're going to uh, Singapore ish. Ish. That's what I'm guessing anyway. These are what these these bits represent. I'd rather not. No, don't kill me. Yeah, this guy is really fucked me at all. No, no. Thank you. Yep, Singapore. I'm waiting for one of these bodies to come alive. I really touch it sky that one. Oh, yes. Whoa, what the fuck happened? Oh, don't tell me it's them grenades. God, I hate them mines, guys. They have a pain in the ass. I still hate that mission where I had to dodge you. That was fucking lying. Right, burn. Thank you. Third art gone. Burn, burn, burn. Can we get out of here, please?
I don't know. There we go. We're just walking now. No, we gotta go away. I don't think, can we? Fuck it, we're gonna. So some music going on anyway, so I'll take it we're finished. Oh yeah. Yeah, but we're not gonna go to frozen forest. I'm not. I don't like cold weather. Not a big fan of it. This way, just get shot in the face by someone. Oh dear. So I have Taylor now. <laughs> Great. But, that was Call of Duty Black Ops 3, guys. That was, uh, I am actually speechless because I really enjoyed it. No matter all the bad stuff I've said, I, it's just because I get annoyed. But it was a brilliant game, guys. I can't. There's a few little niggly things like you can't pick weapons up off the floor. I know they try to keep it more so you keep your own guns, what you have loaded out through it, but I also like the fact you can pick up another weapon because it means you can try other weapons out and see what they're like. That's the only thing that I weren't a little bit too sure on, but that's it. I enjoyed the fighting, the exo like abilities, like the, our weapons and stuff. It's a lot better than Advanced Warfare because that's why I'm more basing it off. You know, but comparing it between Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 2, it had. It linked to all Black Ops 2 and World at War, which was amazing because even though it's a completely different game with completely different people, it links it to show that it's still part of that story, that part of that game franchise. And like it, it made Advanced Warfare look shit with the Exos, which I'm really happy about. Like I prefer the Exos on this the way it is. Like it's a jump and boost is show. It's a more glides up, which is a lot more fun. But yeah. Absolutely speechless. The storyline was amazing. The gameplay, the the gameplay, the mechanics, the way it feels, it felt amazing. Um, the only thing I, I really criticised about was just the the fact, the fact you couldn't pick up weapons off the floor. Like, I'm a little bit sort of a little bit pissed off because it's it's ended so abruptly. It's like everyone just gets shot instantly. Yeah, fair dues. More of it like real life. I got some fair cool music in background, um, but yeah, um, yeah, and then it just doesn't end like slowly ends. It ends abruptly and straight away, and leaves us with a bit of questioning on what's going to happen. 
like it said his name's Taylor, so is his mind turned into Taylor's mind? Well, that's what I might be thinking. So yeah. Anyway guys, enjoyed it. Good game. If you haven't got it yet, I'd recommend getting it because it's a really good game. Um like the only th like I can say the only problem I have is picking up the weapons. That's it. Really good game. Really good thing. So we we'll skip. There we go. Storyline complete. Is there any cutscene at the end though? That's what I want to see. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's going to go to a safe house. What's going to happen? Come on. Tell me what happens. And what's gonna happen is a cutscene of all. No, no cutscene. Right. Right, do we get all for it though? Audio, outfits, come on, do we get something good for it? ZFS, alright, Call of Duty. <gasps> yes, we're getting that, guys. That is literally a World at War outfit, guys. So I'm gonna have that just because it looks so cool. Service record. Grim Reaper. Uh, neutralized 2,000 hostiles. And campaigning all decorations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with campaign, guys. Which that's, that's also a good thing. I like the fact you can rank up in your campaign. You can rank up. Like whilst I'm talking, guys, I'll just quit. Like you can. Uh, that, that's that's basically the storyline done, guys. That is the end. Uh, so I'm just going to quit and show you a lot of other stuff. But yeah, I like the fact you can rank up each individual thing as well. So like, um, uh, like with zombies, you can rank that up because I have prestige on that. You can rank your multiplayer up, you can rank your um, storyline up because you can do online story mode, which I like the fact that they've done that. You can play it online, which they brought back from World of War. Um, they brought zombies from it all, which is amazing. And they brought the exos from Advanced Warfare, but they made it a lot better. And now we can start all over again on a higher difficulty, which I don't want to do because I struggled on medium. But yeah, I'd give it a good solid 8.5 out of 10. There were little bits here and there that that, that cancels it down. 8 out and half to 9 out of 10. It, it's a really good game, guys. I would recommend getting it. So yeah, while well, we'll be doing um, doing Star Wars coming out tomorrow, guys. And, oh, I, I did. There's the videos that are coming up from yesterday. It was a bit, a little bit late. Uh, I, my internet weren't going up, so they're going up today. We have Star Wars tomorrow, guys. So look forward to that. And then we'll carry on Star Wars and Eve Speed. And I will be doing after that gameplay of this and uh, of this on multiplayer and on zombies. So look out for that. I do have the giant so I'll be doing gameplay of that. So if you want to see that, guys, be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.